Hello everyone, welcome to Gold Chain Studios. My name is Floor and this is the channel for heavy and brutal tones. Today we are turning this Maxon Tube Screamer into a digital version of itself that we can use in any DAW. How are we going to do this? With the new Neural Amp Modeler. For those who don't know, Neural Amp Modeler is a free open source amp modeling software that allows you to make a digital version of your amps, hardware, distortion pedals and more that you can use within your DAW and even as a standalone plugin. It's created by Steven Atkinson and it's similar to profilers like Camper and Tonex. Today I will run you through the process of how this works. Please consider subscribing to this channel as I'm planning to make a lot more videos about gear, mixing tutorials and reviewing plugins. I will also give away this ST9 Pro Super Tube profile for you to download along with my amp profile of my pod that I use live with my band Corpse. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is to download this WAV file. We will basically use this to reamp the Maxon pedal and you can find the link for this in the description. As you can see I already uploaded the file right here. This is how it sounds. Basically there are some weird noises to capture the whole frequency spectrum I guess. Um, the settings for the Maxon, I've put everything at uh, noon, except for the level, that one's all the way open and I have the low boost engaged because it sounds way heavier. And that's what we do in this channel. Uh, this one is being sent straight from my focus right into the input of the Maxon and will return right here. Uh, we have to make sure that the project is set up with a sample rate of 48 kilohertz and 24 bits as this is how the capture needs to be exported. That's very important. This reamping will take about three minutes so I will skip forward and be right back with you. Alright, so we reamp the signal from the Maxon. You can see it right here. Uh, there's a quick tip I want to give you when you are reamping an actual amp in combination with like tube screamers or booster pedals or anything like that. Make sure that your noise gates are turned off because in my experience somehow it sounds extra gated in exports uh, like it doesn't have enough gain or something. Maybe it's an issue on my side so if anyone has tips on that please share them in the comment section. Now one thing that we have to do is to make sure that the reamp file is the exact same length as the original file. So I already made like a cycle here. Um, you can of course put the markers there or you can cut it right there and then use it like that. So next, for the export, it's very important that we export it as a mono signal. So let me show you. From here it has to be a WAV file. So the format is WAV, 24 bits as I mentioned earlier and sample rate of 48 kilohertz. Now that we got our exports we need to send them to this website. I've put the link for this in the description again. We have to go to this folder and that is where we will drop in our exports, like so. Uh, you get the warning message, ensure that your files are saved elsewhere, the runtime's files will be deleted when the runtime is terminated. Basically this Google Collab uh, instance only lasts for 12 hours uh, and after that your files basically get deleted so just make sure that you back them up. This will take a bit of time to upload so I'll be right back with you. Alright, the files are uploaded and now it's time to rename them. It's very important because otherwise they won't go through this whole process because they will give errors. So the first file that we used to basically make the reamp, the V1, we should change this to V1. And then the reamp from the Maxon, we change that to output. Yeah, and now we can basically use them. So the next step, we have to go to the installation step right here and give like permission to install the NAM into this Google Collab thing. So here we go. This will take about a couple seconds. There we go. Here it also shows how long it took, about 16 seconds. All right, now that is complete, we go to step three. Here your file will be converted to the last output file that we can use in the plugin. We have the epochs here, it's set to 100 and from what I understand is that this is how the quality will increase. So 100 is uh, pretty basic, it will work fine. Um, I've tried up to 250 and that, uh, yeah, it had a slight increase in uh, the quality. But for this instance we're just gonna try 100. It will take around 10 minutes and then we can download our model. 
right there. See you in a bit. So our model was done exporting. Uh, as you can see here, it says it's exported to exported models version one. So here on the left side, we go to the folder. You can see version one, click in there, and this is our export. Now the fun part starts because we can download this and then upload it into our neural amp modeler. And we are back in Logic. I have dropped the Maxim file into my folder where I keep all my exports and renamed it. Um, I also pre-recorded a guitar riff so that we can do some comparing. For the dry amp, I have used uh, my Corp Strat Plate Dry, which I made earlier from my Pod HD, and that basically emulates like a dual rectifier. For the IR, I used the Massive Cap. I found that recently, and it sounds pretty well. And this is how that sounds on its own. <laughs> So yeah, pretty dry, but that was the idea behind this one. Then we have the Maxon loaded before the amp. So I have no IR in between because that would make sense since a pedal goes before the amp. I'm gonna turn it on and off and then we can compare. Maybe have to adjust the output a little bit just to level it. So here we go. <laughs> So yeah, that sounds pretty good, I think. Definitely boosts the signal a lot. And that is what we were going for. Now, I also made a test with the real Maxon. Basically, I re this signal through the Maxon. I have put the same amp and the same cap as I done with the profiler test. Uh, so let's switch between the real and the profile version. I will start with the profile and then switch to the real one and then back and forth. Here we go. <laughs> Sounds pretty identical to me. And that's it. Now you know how to profile any amp, plugin, or pedal with the Neural Amp Modeler. I'm sure this modeler will keep updating since it's fairly new, but in my opinion, this is already a big step in the future of profiling amps. In the description, you will find the download link to the profile from the Maxon and the amp that I used here today, as well as the boosted version of the amp that I used live with my band Corpse. Uh, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and maybe drop a comment about your experience with the Neural Amp. Thank you so much for watching and I hopefully see you in the next video.